that joint right here. She doesn't want me around. Carry over your time. She's got something to hide. If you know what joint is, I think she wants a clown. Someone to what? Someone to take for a ride. Yo, but I keep telling her I'm too experienced for some taking for a ride. I'm too experienced for someone to All right, all right, we see where the weed at. This is where the weed at. That's how you find the weed in the building. Whoa! Whoa! Give it up for Rob Stapleton one more time. Show him some love. All my ladies in the house, make some noise one more time. I love y'all, man. I'm a product raised by all women. Five sisters, five aunts, two grandmothers. A couple of women, we didn't know who they were. They hung out the cookout. <laughs> but I feel bad for women because when you look at society, it's a double standard. Am I right or wrong? Women got to keep it up. You got to stay sexy. It's bullshit. Fellas can let themselves go. As long as you making money, you in the game. <laughs> right? You in the club looking horrible. They talking about you. Look at him. He's disgusting. And somebody be like, yeah, but that's his house. You be like, that's his house. <laughs> the mansion? <laughs> Right? You, ain't, you don't care. Women got to look pretty all the time. Keep it up. You heard Mark. Spanx and all that stuff. <laughs> Tell women all the time, one number one tip, you want to have durability, stop smoking. Shit's everywhere. Women just go outside the club. <laughs> it's cute when you're young. It ain't going to be cute 10, 15 years from now. All right? Catch up to you. Find your ass on CNN. <laughs> Talking through that throat thing. You see the commercial, I didn't always sound like this. No, I had a nice voice. Michelle tell him I sounded nice. <laughs> That's not right. People always say that. That's not right. You don't feel sorry for everybody in the commercial. Not the bitch that kept smoking. You see her? They cutting fingers off this bitch. She keep getting sick. She's like, so then they cut these two fingers off. I said, oh shit, I need a cigarette. <laughs> well, kill yourself. <laughs> Double standard. Let me, help, let me help the ladies out. You want to figure men out. Very, men are very simple creatures. All we want to be is the best lover we could be. That's it. Very simple. We just want to be the best lover you could be. That's why sometimes men lie on their penis, right? You know, you hear him. I, I, I get it in. I do it for an hour. A whole hour? Some dude was playing ball in Brooklyn. I swear to God, volunteered the information. Check ball, I get it in. I do an hour. I said, you do an hour? Like a whole CSI, commercials and everything. What the hell, I ain't nobody doing no hour. You, nobody doing this shit for an hour. You do an hour, you adding up breaks. Pee break, water break, towel breaks. Ain't nobody doing this shit for an hour. the hell out of here. 30 minutes, that's some gangster time. Ladies, you got that guy at the house? Keep him. That's some superhero sex. 30 minutes? Shh. 30 minutes? That's, that's Wakanda forever. That's what the fuck is. You got Black Panther cock at the house. Keep that. Anything past 30 minutes, he's a liar. Because every grown man in here know after 30 minutes, you get a Charlie horse right here. And Charlie is undefeated. Ain't a man in here strong enough to bone through a Charlie horse. Charlie changed your whole swagger. You look like a porn star to this kick and you're like, yeah, bow, shut up. Ah. This go up, this go with it. Now you look retarded. Ah. You don't want her to see that. Ah. Chick caught me one time. I'm like, listen, you okay? You got lupus? Ain't nobody got lupus. Turn around. Whenever you're ready, okay? Okay. Action. Um, what is, what is this superhero? I'm a black man. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the most feared man on this planet. Wait, I'm sorry, did you say a black man? Or a, a black, black man? man. Oh, a black man. Okay. okay. I'm scared. I mean, he's not wrong. Ta-da! Oh, okay. Wow. That's a hammer. Mm. Ooh, ooh. That that's you not know what? familiar. Do you have an, an arch enemy? 
Just the bitch with the Chihuahua and three R. Uh, yeah, that, that yeah. bitch. And do you, do you have powers? Uh, just like superhero powers? I mean, have you seen what the history of us are? I mean, we did slavery and we survived it. We've been through all kinds of stuff. Do you read the news where they're just shooting black people and we're still here? They're trying to get rid of us. We're here. A black man. Do you have a costume? Y'all want more fun? Say yeah. yeah. One more time for my DJ Ty Brand. Clap it up for him. Next New York King, we call this brother the gangster comedy from one Capone. Do you know what it is? The Boogie Down Bronx from one tour to the next tour. Y'all give it up for the New York King, Gangster Capone! Oh my goodness! Play stir fry. That shit there, y'all better like it cause that's gonna be the last song that's good. Cause everybody else that make good music, they dead. Yeah, everybody dead, that's all we got left. Dance with my dogs in the nighttime. Nobody don't know the rest after that. Not even the motherfucker who made it. And that is the night time. I'm about to hit you motherfuckers with the stir fry. How do you go in the studio and make songs like that? Breathe the Franklin gone. Michael Jackson, Prince. All of them gone. All we got is stir fry. <laughs> and we singing it like we like it too, like we know the words. Some of us 40, 50 years old, talking about, I'm dance with the nigga. <laughs> Rita Franklin shit used to mess our grandparents up too. Grandmother couldn't spell for shit trying to sing a Rita Franklin song. I E S C P. I E S C P. Your grandfather get mad as hell. Shut the hell up, Ethel. You shut up, I-E-S-C-C-P. And <laughs> remember your grandfather used to act like he was gonna hit your grandmother? He get mad, he wouldn't hit her, but he had that little cool ass two-step. Say something, say something the fuck out. <laughs> that two-step was powerful than a motherfucker. You go ahead. <laughs> oh, those were the days. <laughs> now time to change. They put me last because I'm the one with the foul mouth. I do, I curse. I curse more than them. Because I am the one who believes that curses are nothing but words. And people have been taking them so serious that you allow curses to affect you when they don't have to. Everybody curse. Curse you started as a powerful thing when you were a kid. When you had an older brother and sister. And you couldn't beat them. And they tell you, get out of my room! And he pushed you. You couldn't push him back. He was bigger. But a curse is what helped you felt strong. <laughs> you four years old. You ain't even know how to curse. Stop pushing me, fuck a bitch. <laughs> you a fuck up bitch. <laughs> and black kids. Uh, we couldn't curse in front of our parents until our parents, I don't give a fuck what age you were. You couldn't curse in front of your parents. I thought the same thing about my white friends, but they, they curse early. White friends, oh my God, I'll never forget, I was 10 years old, me and Billy, we won the baseball game. <laughs> Billy, Billy mother invited us in for some sandwiches. She put a sandwich in front of me and one in front of Billy. Billy looked at the sandwich, looked at me, he said, Mom, I don't want this shit. I looked at Billy, I was shaking, I said, man, you're gonna get both of us beat. Billy looked at me with conviction. My mom knows. <laughs> I don't want this shit. Billy mother came out and brought him and me two new sandwiches. I was shocked. I couldn't wait to get home to try this shit. <laughs> 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 
My mother put, put, a, put a goddamn my food in front of me. I, I was 10 years old. I said, Ma! And she just looked at me. I turned too quick. I said, Ma, Ma, I'm going to eat all of this. I'm going to be the big boy strong. <laughs> no, sir. Hell no. You couldn't curse in front of your mother as a grown person. I don't care how old you were. Your mother had to solidify it, had to set it up. Even though curses are just words, you couldn't do it. Black parents come in the house. Only way you could curse is she set it up. She come right in the house. Who the fuck left this shit in my living room? This was your opportunity. Ma, that ain't my shit. Okay, baby. <laughs> and everybody curse. People come to my shows, especially older women, y'all. They love me, but they always got something negative to say about me. He's funny as hell, but he has a foul mouth. All old women say that. He is funny, but he got a foul mouth. Everybody curse. You used to curse too, you old bitch. <laughs> Even the preacher curse. Let that money plate come empty and watch him curse too. Today the Lord and if, what the fuck? What, sorry, Jesus, forgive me. <laughs> Curses ain't nothing but words. That's all they are. They are, and I'm going to tell you right now, people use them differently. Like, you got to be careful, because women, y'all get sensitive. Y'all will curse a man out, call him all kinds of names. He curse you one time, you act like you shot. And it depends on the curse. You'll call him all kinds of shit, curses that ain't made up yet, you old dumb ignoramus ass. He don't know what to say. You curse for a whole hour, finally he get fed up, and he call you that word, and you get pissed off. Look at it, y'all. I ain't even saying y'all pissed off. He tired. He like, you keep talking to me like that, bitch. And you act like you got shot. Oh, my God. Jesus, he's disrespecting me. For the word, bitch, because he used it. Because you'll call your girlfriends in a heartbeat. Y'all come the fuck over. No, he's disrespecting me. No, we going out tonight. I ain't going to be here with that dumb ass. And your girlfriends come over. And you dressed up. And they dressed up. But you got on some hot shit. And she see you and be like, oh, my God. You ain't tell me we was doing it like that, bitch. And you'll look right at him. Huh, won't a bitch do it? Won't a bitch do it? And now he looking all dumbfounded. You the same bitch I called a bitch and that's why this happened? <laughs> Certain words you can't use around women. You got to be careful with them words. They don't mean nothing until a woman accepts it different. Like the word pussy. Oh, you ever heard? You got to use cat real quick after you say it. Pussy, cat. <laughs> because if you don't use cat, you could be talking to your boy. Yo, dog, where you going, man? I'm about to go get me some pussy. And she hear it. She be like, oh, my God. You are so disrespectful. He be like, I wasn't even talking to you, ma'am. <laughs> and I understand. That word is powerful. You have to use it in a powerful phrase. You can't just, no man in here could just ask their woman, hey, baby, come up in the room and get me some pussy. No, you disrespectful bastard. But if you put a little cute twist to it, women like it like that. Hey, baby, come here, boo. Come in the room, give me a little bit of that damn pussy. I know you got it on you. <laughs> she be like, you can see it. <laughs> you can see all this pussy. They like the cute phrases the way you use it. And I always tell men, men, when we reach a certain age, we got to start telling the truth. You have to start telling the truth or your body going to start speaking for you. I'm going to tell you right now. I don't care how old you are. Once you reach that certain age, certain shit you can't do. Talent was talking all that shit about an hour of sex. When I was in my 20s, I was a sex god. Oh, yes. One hour. That wasn't shit. Two hours. Me, yes. How? Oh, two hours. And talking. Whose pussy is this? Picking a woman up. Now? No, sir. 
If I pick you up, I ain't talking. Oh, you hear me? Ah, I'm grunting and you grunting because I'm trying to pick you up and you trying to get picked up, tippy toe. Woo! Woo! Ah. But when you're in your 20s, oh, you can go strong. Two hours straight, humping. It looks nice when you're young. Oh, ladies, I'm going to tell you a secret. A man don't need you. He, all he wants is a mirror and you looking that way. When we young, we don't care about what you look like. We looking at us. <laughs> it look good in the mirror. You looking doggy style, your stomach flat, his stomach flat. He doing all kinds of shit in the mirror. <clears throat> you humping like crazy. After 35, 40, look a little different. Her stomach on the bed. Your stomach on her ass. <laughs> you look at the mirror like it's a window. You don't believe it's y'all. You're like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> That's us? You get so disgusted, you turn your back on you. That ain't me. <laughs> you try to hold your stomach in. Yeah, there I go. And she hit you with that ass shot. Bow! Your stomach come right the fuck back out. What the fuck? My name is Capone, y'all. Thank you. New York Kings. No. I have another one. I have uh, uh, There's more. epilepsy, man. Yeah, because there's a lot of people on their job and they're this close to getting fired and they want to curse their boss out. So they call me, I'm like, Shh, fucking bitch, cut! Fucking bitch, dick titties! People can find me on Twitter, they can Instagram me, or Facebook me, uh, it's epilepsy. Do you mean Tourette's?